Are you thinking about getting an Arduino and are not sure how to set it up? Do you want to see a use for the Arduino that requires almost zero programming? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do this. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about your setting up the Arduino R3 and putting it to work for you. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon Flash Briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this video, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you want to get notified when new content is uploaded, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. Now here's what we're going to be covering in this video, and that's setting up your Arduino R3 and putting it to work for you. First, the required parts, and something you probably didn't see coming, setting up the Arduino as a crypto miner. And yes, folks, it can be done. And then we'll talk about the next steps. Well, now this is a video you probably didn't see coming, but you, you'll, you'll see the method to the mess we get through. Now, to get this up and running, all you've got to have from a hardware standpoint is the Arduino R3. Now I've got one from Elegoo. It's one of the clones and it's worked just fine. It was a matter of what was available at the time I placed my order. You, with the, with the Elegoo, and not all of these, but with the Elegoo, you will get a cable, a little bit different from this one, that will go from the USB port A that's on here to your computer, whether it's Linux or Windows. Mac can probably be made to work, but they're, they're just not targeted towards that. I put mine in a case just to keep it simple. There is no way that you can put more memory on it. It's limited to what's on there. So really you can't get much better than this. There is what's called an IDE. It's an integrated development environment. You will need this to upload whatever programming you want to this. And that's what gets me to the first thing, an easy way to get into this if you're not a programmer, because this is going to be very painless and that's to set it up as a miner. And really it's very straightforward. So let's switch over to the Intel NUC and I'll start walking you through that process. Now, the thing I found, and this was purely by accident because I was looking for other miners to try out on the Raspberry Pi farm that I've got. And then with getting the Arduino, I said, there's got to be a way that I can get this to work. I found one coin and it's the one you see up here on screen, this Duino coin. I'm gonna stress again, you are not going to get rich doing this, but it's an interesting experience. And over time, who knows? And they support a multiple platforms here. So as you can see, they've got, you can mine with your Windows computer, you can do Linux, AVR, and that's Arduino or the, uh, you know, of the, of the compatible line, Raspberry Pi, ESP8266, and other devices, which involves using a web interface. So there's really quite a bit to do. You can download the client here. Well, not really the client, the software. I'm sorry, you'll have to bear with me. I, I think in terms of client. There is an account you will have to create. And as you've heard me preach before, use a different login for everything, password and the whole deal, because the hassle you save is going to be yours. There is an, I'm going to show you another way to do it past what they have here. And it's going to walk you through the mining. Now this is the PC miner. We'll get into this. And this is the part where you will set up the Arduino. And we'll go over that in, in just a second here, but you'll want to get the Arduino IDE. And then once you've got that, you can go back up here. And if you're running a windows machine, which is what I've got this being hosted to, then you will get that download it, extract it, and then you'll be one step closer. Now, before we get to the point of getting the software uploaded to Arduino, we need to get an account created on Duino coin so that you can be set up to mine it. Now, this is what the director will look like when you get it set up. And in this case, the, the miner you're going to need for the Arduino is right in here. And this is the AVR miner. This is another important directory to know about because at one point I thought I had a corrupted configuration, but I couldn't get it to reprompt to let me rebuild the configuration. So I went on the uh, website and found out that there was this directory and what I've got here, I've got this temporarily renamed so you can see it when it first comes up. And I've got occasionally some other ones where I thought I've had problems and I've saved those just to be on the safe side. You can build your own, but trust me, let the software do it. There is one directory that you need to know about another one rather, and it's the Arduino code. In here is going to be, it says Arduino underscore dot INO. 
this is the one you're going to have to pick up with the Arduino IDE. And that, then it's just a matter of, of uploading. There's really nothing that you have to do. So I've already got my Arduino connected over here. You can see the power lights up, nothing else is going on. And this is how you can kind of tell if the miner's up and running because you'll see TX and RX blink eh, once every few seconds. It depends on the level of difficulty. So we'll go back over here, bring up the Arduino IDE. Now you'll need to go to tools. It sure should already have the Uno selected, but if not, you'll need to select that. That's the one I'm using or it's a compatible and you can go down the whole list here. You probably will need to select the COM port because it's going to just not really do anything unless you do. So at this point, that's the one it found it on. So that's already selected. And if we go back to tools and if you get board info, this is how you know everything's talk is it's found the board name, all the information for it. So you know that you're set, ready to go. So what we will do is we will get a sketchbook. And this point I've already had it loaded once. So I'll just pick recent. And you see, here's all the programming to make it work. But the best part is you didn't have to do this. The, the folks at Duino Coin really did this one right. So what you'll want to do is you will click on the right arrow and it's going to compile it. And then it's in the process of uploading it. And that's it. So really you, you can't make it any easier than that. So what we will go is now we'll back over to the directory where it says AVR Miner, and we'll just double click on that. Don't double click on the name. That was where I made that mistake. And see, it asks for your username. So we'll just call this temp user that user doesn't exist now it's found the arduino so we need to if, with it being on windows we will just enter com3 because it shows you how it needs to have it entered and if it's on linux you have to enter the the different syntax do we want to add another board now this is where if you're going to run multiple arduinos and that's something i'm looking to do I, i'm just curious to see how it works how it's going to multitask talking to the different boards because it's they don't take that much power to run but that's other than that you would just say no we will see we want to select a higher level of difficulty i will say no for right now and do we want to add an identifier this is handy when you go to the Duino coin website or if you get the app for your smartphone that you can tell what rig it's actually using to report so if you do have more than one so we'll say yes and we'll just call this r3 and we can say yes to donate because you know it's not going to hurt you that much and then this is where it gets ready to start setting up the connection now i switched back over to the working configuration that i've got and it takes sometimes just a few seconds for it to start making contact with the mothership and don't worry if you see this red line where it says air connected to server the first time or two it just seems to air out now sometimes it'll take right off sometimes it just takes a while so it's just a matter of being patient and when you see this message that means it's gotten contact with the the duino coin server and the thread starting up and this is what you can expect to see when things are working so it's working pretty good clip. Let's switch over to demo cam and you can see what the lights should look like. And so generally that, that indicates that, that the miner is active. You can't monitor the serial line on this one because we're using that to talk between the AVR app on the computer and that. So that's the one downside. But at least you can see it is up and running. Occasionally you may get one that's declined, but you know, it's just a process to, to go through. Now, if we go over here and if we go wallet and we will click login, this is a way for you to keep track of what's going on. As you can see, here's Uno. That's the one that's running like a champ right now. We call it Uno One, which is the name I normally have run with it. And this gives you what you'd expect to make in profit per day, the balance you've got in your account, and you can transfer using some other exchanges. You've got to hit a certain level this at least gives you an option to get used to how to upload the to the arduino like you said there, you saw there was no configuration to you just have to upload the code and then the avr components you run here actually takes care of the rest that's got it up and running the there are two other ways that you can 
get this configured. Now, right now I've got it on a USB connection to the computer that I've got the AVR application running on. You can supposedly, I say supposedly because I haven't done this yet. I've got parts on the way. You can set this up to run with a wireless module and it's going to take a little bit of wiring. So that may not be for everybody. I've got one of those on the way and I'm going to give that a try. There is also a shield that you can get that will go right on top of this and gives you an RJ45. Now there will be some additional changes that we have to make when we upload the code because we have to include the libraries so that it knows how to talk to the network card. Now that would free up the tether line to your computer, but then would let you use that as a monitoring component to see what's going on. What's what I've read should happen again. I've got various pieces, parts on the way, so we can do that. But you can see this is really a, a very different item to, to work with. It's, you can get into mining. Granted, I guess I'm going to say this several times. You're not going to get rich. But you, for those of you who like to work with statistics, then you can see, you know, what the results are if you want to. I mean, you may run multiple. I'm going to try to run a second one. Just, I want to see it work. Just because I can, and you're talking uh, between the Uno R3 that I've got and the case, it was like about 20 bucks. So I can afford to run several of these because it's not going to take that much power. And it just, I'm just curious, but at that way, it gets you one step in the process. Now, the other thing that you will need to have, and let's see, did I leave it running? No, I didn't. Well, we can get over here. One thing you will need to get a little bit comfortable with is the Arduino IDE. And this is just going to be what you're going to have to do to get things configured. You have some diagnostics. Now, for example, if I have the serial monitor, that's and see, if I try to issue this right now, it's going to say serial port use. That's because the AVR miner is actually talking to it. If we stop the AVR miner, then I would expect it to be able to get in. So let's just go ahead and stop it. And let's go back to tools, serial monitor, bingo. See, now that works, but we've got no way to really see what's going on because the program it's talking to is stopped. But this is where when you've got the ethernet shield on it, then you can watch to see what's going on. So it's just all a, a part of the process. The, so the next steps, I'm going to try the wired one. And if I'm feeling exceptionally lucky, then I'm going to try the wireless one because if I can keep from chewing up ethernet ports, I'm all for that. Now, since this doesn't support PoE in the way it's shipped, you're going to have to put a power supply on it when you are trying to drive it without the computer handling the, the AVR component. If you are going to use serial on monitor, then it should still pick up its power through that. But if you're trying to run it totally headless and not connected to anything, you're going to have to put a power supply. So there's that part to consider. There are a whole host of components available and I'm already looking to order some of these because there's all sorts of sensors and everything that yield some of the flexibility of what the Arduino is capable of. Now, some of this is going to get into a little bit of programming and I'm looking at one option right now that will let you get into that, but it kind of walks you through. It has a series of, of lessons as, as the terminology they use it. That's the folks at Elegoo. I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from them right now and see about getting those on the way because there's a host of sensors and you can make your own pieces, parts of this and make it that much more that you can learn about the single board computers and make it one more thing that it'd be very handy to have in your smart home. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If if this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.